Hello everyone, I'm once again here with IKLC 2021's preparation. And in this video, I will cover junior level and that is for the students of class 9 and 10. For this multiple choice questionnaire, you have 60 minutes to attempt 30 questions. And the contest questions are divided into three types. Three, four and five points questions are given to you. For better understanding, I will refer back to the past paper of 2019 for the junior level. Question 1 to 10 will carry three points, and these questions will test different language skills. For example, one of the questions will check your pronunciation. There are five words on my screen, and you have to pick the odd one out in terms of pronunciation. And for example, you are looking at the letters th means it's it's a sound like th or the i'm just saying these words so you just pick out the odd one out first word or th th smooth the smooth other the although again the clothes clothes again the so the odd one is author it's the sound there the next question is on question tag and you must remember one rule for question tags if the sentence is positive you put the negative question tag and if your sentence is negative then you put a positive question tag for example here you barely knew your neighbor Barely means um, you hardly, means it's almost nothing, no, but, uh, in negative. So this sentence is in negative. You just put the positive question tag. So you say you barely knew your neighbor. Did you? Means it's in positive. One of the questions can be formed on classification. Classification means um, how you categorize things or how you, how you classify things. Uh, for example, there are five words on my screen right now and four of the words related to one thing and the fifth word, uh, it, it doesn't go with the same thing. For example, boot is the, is the uh, backside, the rear part of the car that is you that you call trunk. Tires, again related to car. Windscreen, again related to car. Bonnet is the front part of the car. But the fifth one here, handlebars, it is not, it has nothing to do with the cars. It is related to either bike or the bicycle. So handlebars is the odd one out. As I have told you that you are tested on different language skills. So one of the questions can be on collocations. Collocations means compatibility of two words. For example, one word, um, the stability, it can come with another word. So here the word given is damage. There are five other words on my screen and you again have to uh, pick the odd one out. When we say repair, you can say repair damage, right? You, you fix it. Cause damage means something can be the cause of this damage, so you can cause damage. Assess damage means you measure damage. And sustain means you maintain or continue the same uh, state. So you can say sustain damage. But the word take damage, uh, it's an odd one out. You cannot say take damage. One of the questions is on phrasal verb. And the phrasal verb that is given in 2019 paper is pass for. Pass for means be accepted as. And it is given in a statement like the two of them look so much alike that they often dash for sisters. It means they often pass for sisters. They're considered as sisters or they're accepted as sisters. For IKLC exam, you must be familiar with direct and indirect speech. Direct speech means you are saying something directly and indirect speech means you are quoting someone's word. So the statement given in 2019 is, um, James said that you wanted to have a word with me. You cannot choose any option like you will say a word or you can say a word. 
you must have this uh, past tense there. Why? Because said is a is in past form. So that's why whatever you are choosing after that, it should be in the past form. For sitting an IKLC exam, you must have a strong vocabulary. And in 2019 paper, the word recession was given, which means decline of economic activity. It means that businesses, they see um, less demand and uh, begin to lose money. Four point questions is a closed test where you have to read a given text and make an appropriate choice from the given options. And the missing words uh, can be one of the modal verbs like could and it can be a verb like rise and earn or it could be a phrase like nothing short of. Nothing short of means almost and it is framed like nothing short of a miracle. It means it is almost a miracle or it could be a phrasal verb, phrasal verb like hold out. And hold out means survive in difficult circumstances. And it could be an adjective like heated or unfaced. Unfaced means composed. Or it could be a noun like whisked. Whisked is a young person who is successful at something. Or it could be an idiom like no mean feat. No mean feat means um, great achievement. Five point questions again test your different language skills from question 21 to question 30. It means there are 10 questions of this five point scores. And the questions given in this category is or can be about an idiom. For example, to be in the red. To be in the red means spending, you're spending more money than earned. And it is framed in the in 2019 paper as I can aff I cannot afford to go on that holiday anymore. My bank account is in red. And my bank manager isn't the most flexible of people. So keeping bank account in red means that you're spending more money than you have earned. Again, for five point questions, your vocabulary is tested. Uh, for example, uh, there you should know the difference between take a test and give a test. Take a test means you're an examinee and you're, you're sitting an exam. Uh, whereas give a test means that you are an examiner and you're giving someone an exam. So this difference should be clear to you. Similarly, there is another word like nonchalant. Nonchalant means easygoing. And how it is framed in 2019 paper, let me uh, tell you this as well. He pretends to be nonchalant, uh, but we could see he was nervous. So you must know what nonchalant means, means calm or easygoing or you are um, composed. In IKLC exam, there is also a question on conditional sentences. And you must know there are three conditionals, like first conditional, second and third conditional. So, um, if the if statement uh, has uh, present tense, for example, if he paints, then the next statement must carry will. But if there is a past tense, for example, if he painted, then the next statement must carry would. But here, uh, what is on the screen, it is a third conditional. Why? Because here it is past perfect there. So if he had painted the picture, it means in the blank, this statement must have, would have signed. So you can say, if he had painted the picture, he would have signed his name in the corner. Let me show you the answer like this. If he had painted the picture, he would have signed his name in the corner. This is third conditional. For sitting an IKLC exam, you must be familiar with the similes too. And the simile given in 2019 paper is as old as the hills. And it is uh, framed in a statement like many of the tribe's customs and rituals are as old as the hills. And the next question is for five, point, uh, for five points, that is phrasal verb, again phrasal verbs. Uh, and the phrasal verb given in um, 92019 paper is beat him down. Beat him down means convince someone to sell something at a lower price. And uh, the statement is given as a trader asked for a heavy price or for the high price, but I managed to beat him down. It means I convinced him to sell something to me at lower price. And the last question here is odd one out. It means 
um, there are few words given that uh, one of the word does not make any sense. So you can also consider it as a collocation, for example, um, compatibility of two words together. So you can say hand caught, you can say handcuff, you can say handmade, you can say hand saw, but you cannot say hand men. So hand men is the odd word here. That's all for today's video. I will come with some other tips for junior level next time. Till then, bye-bye.